your thoughts? Um, got to beat guys we're not supposed to beat on paper. I mean, we have to be able to do that more. We got to overperform more. Um, you know, the three guys that got in the finals, they should be in the finals. And not saying not saying you take anything for granted, but I mean, where they're seated, they they should have done that. Um, so we got to have some other guys be able to push and and do it. I thought Elber wrestled. I thought he wrestled. He gave himself opportunities. You know, um, you start thinking about some of those matches. That other two semifinal matches, I think we had opportunities to win those matches. I thought I thought Hoshlog had a takedown personally. Um, I th it could have been, could not been, but you know, then you got to go again. But um, I think an okay performance. Some of those guys have come through the backside very strong. Uh, Logan Ryan, a couple bonus point wins. I thought Carter's looked good on the backside. Um, and Schwarm, I think that's that's absolutely critical for our team that you fight back, not just not just you, you for yourself, but for your team, but to continue to score points for us. And and everyone's still got a chance to still go to the national tournament, you know. I mean, so uh, those those spots are still on the line. But more than anything, just always building for the future. And I don't know, there's a certain way I want to see guys perform when when they're wearing that singlet. I mean, there's a certain expectation that we have, and we got it. We have to do that more across the board. Um, there was some, there was some, some real good things, some good hustle things, and, and then it seemed like the matches that we really hustled and put a little bit more in, we we end up coming out on top of. So I mean, those things they go hand in hand. You got to have a little grit and fight too, with some of the technique and skill. And sometimes it's just got to fight a little bit more than the other guy in some of those situations. So um, I don't know. I know. I know we're we're way behind Oklahoma State. You know, I mean, they I think they're up by maybe like 30 points. You know, that's we want to be within striking distance. Um, so we have to have five, six, seven guys in the finals if we're going to be able to stay with that team. Um, obviously, want to finish in odd numbers. You know, let's come back and get get all you know third, a bunch of thirds, and then a couple and three firsts, and that's the plan for tomorrow. Can you take us through what goes down during the week off? I mean, just the, the first day where you show up here. Uh, what goes down during the week off? You know what? You just you know you. I mean, we we talk we talk about we talk about not. Uh, so what? That's adversity. I mean, I mean that's. Big deal. You got a you got a big escape at the end of the first, which was was important. And then all of a sudden you're out. You know you, you escape the next time, and he's taken down. And you're back ahead. So I think as long, as long as you don't panic and keep your head, you know you're in, you're in good shape. Big deal. He give you give up four points. Um, you know he'd done a lot of work to get to get to, you know to get that stall point. Um, but the 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 takedown, I said like just finishing periods and those little extra things that make all the difference. That little that that, that escape, that's a huge that's a huge difference right there. Um, but I just think as long as you don't panic, he's got great offense. Big deal. I mean, unless you get pinned, the match isn't over. So, uh, you know, good job by Keegan. We're, he's shooting a shot a little bit with his elbows out, and can't do that. Can't do that, especially him. He's got he's 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 good in there. Um, but I like how he rallied. I, I don't want I want him to finish stronger. <laughs> I mean, so so you know, as a coach, you're always kind of coaching your guys through things, especially when a guy that, that Drew Foster, as good as he is, he's got to continue to stay on his offense and and continue to attack and and hitting just clean things. Um, wasn't really clean in that match compared to the the duel. The duel he was clean on everything, um, and and you got to be really clean on Keegan to score. So he, he'll be sharper tomorrow. I think, I think just setups. You know, I mean, fake and motion, and then doubling some things up, going to both sides. Uh, there was there was some good attacks. He just when 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 his space gets too much, that's when he struggles. Um, so he's got he's got his spacing and. You know they're good coaches. They make adjustments. I mean they're okay. Keep. I mean I kept hearing them say you got to keep this down. You got to keep this down. So I mean that's what good coaches do. They make adjustments. But it doesn't matter, man. If you start moving a guy, he starts forgetting about that adjustment that he made, and you can still you can still strike or you go take a different attack. Um, I think think sometimes guys are thinking too much. <laughs> you know I mean he's thinking too much. He's got too good offense to worry about some of those things. I mean he's got he's got to move, keep motion, um, and he can sting anybody. But. And if you think guys are going to fall over, and that's what I told the team before the session. Like, if you think guys are going to fall over for you, you're crazy. But you have to make them fall over. And there were some situations we did that. Um, not enough, though. I mean, not enough. Not not enough of that where we made a guy fall over. There was some. There was a few guys on the backside I think that did a good job of that. But we have to do more of that if we want to be a great team. Yeah, I mean. Stay in your offense. I mean, I, I'm going to say that, and you're going to keep hearing me say that. If, if we had a guy that, if, if he didn't have good offense, I'd be like, well, you know what? Maybe he's got to rely on his defense. He got a great defense too, but he's got great offense. Um, you know, I think he kind of had a little bit of handle that match because he he got two and two at the end of that second period. You know, he's up six three. Like, go attack again. If he would have scored again, I think then that guy thinks about putting his head down. Kind of what I was talking about. 
You know, then the guy thinks about putting his head down and say, all of a sudden he gets to his body and then he scores. And then boom, he gets his body again and scores. Um, I'll give that guy credit. You cannot let that guy get to the body, man. He is explosive. But when you're worried, so concerned with the other guy and what he's going to do, that's what happens. And you, he's got to be more concerned about what he can do. I, I know that's, that's, that's what I think. That's what I told him, too. Like, man, you're so good. You got to trust yourself more that you can go get to offense. If he goes and scores again, puts him in a crackdown, 8-3, you know, that, that's a totally different thing. But, man, you can, you can feel when a guy backs off. And that's what we're, we don't, we got to have that killer instinct more. You got to have that. You got to smell that blood in the water. Got to smell the blood in the water. And to do that, to, we got to be able to do it against the best guys. Not some guys. I mean, you see it against some of the guys that we're supposed to beat. But a guy that did snip and tuck or maybe he's ranked ahead of us, we got to smell that blood in those situations too. When we start to do that, then, then we will, we will, we will be challenging Oklahoma State. But right now, that's not, that's not the case. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's it, and it's and it's only going to get better. I mean, that's why we wanted to come here. We want to be challenged like that. I mean, we want to have. I mean, where semifinal matches are like semifinal matches of, of a national tournament. I mean, like El Elber and Elber and Heil. That's a that's a match. I mean, that's a quarterfinal match in the, in the national tournament. You know, um, so that's that's why we want to be here. And and I think other teams are going to continue to raise their level. There's no doubt. You know, it's gonna it's only this tournament's only going to get tougher and tougher. Um, you know, I, I talked to one of the coaches, and they're like, well, you know, last year we were killing everybody. This year, you know, we're only winning by a little bit. I'm saying, well, you're still winning. You know, you're still winning, so so good for you guys. But we got we to gotta close that gap. And, and part of it, they, they believe that they're going to win. I mean, they do. They, you see how they step out there. They believe they're going to win. They believe this is their conference. And, and we got we to gotta start getting some of that, you know, where we believe we're going to win who, no, no matter who we wrestle, no matter who we come up against. And, and that's, that's what we're working on doing. I mean, our guys are that good, I'm telling you. And I keep telling them, and I'll keep telling them, but our, some of our guys, they're that good. And it just, you got to really trust it. And, you know, good, good for them. They've had, a, they've, had a, they've had a good tournament so far, but, um, you know, we're going we're gonna to battle every single match and score as many points as we can. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah.